I guess it's time to wake them up cause they been sleep on me. You know anytime I bring the cleats out, it's gonna be a video all my athletes can go ahead and use. So make sure you smash the like button. Just cause I decided to get outside, get on this football field, and put these cleats back on for y'all. Can y'all do that for me? Can y'all smash the like button? Gracias. Yo, yo, what's good all my fellow prodigies, man? It's your boy Prod, and today I'm back with a brand new video. Now you guys seen the title, man. Today we are going to be rerunning my college football conditioning test. A lot of you guys have told me that your favorite video of mine is my college football conditioning test story. And if you've never seen that video, I'm going to go ahead and play a clip. Test it! You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, bro, my leg's burning. It's hot. I can't breathe. People yelling at me. And next thing I know... I was on the ground. That was the most embarrassing day of my life. Now today I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do in that test. I'm going to show you how to do it, the amount of reps, the times, everything you need to do to pass it. And I'll see if any of you guys can get it done. Now if you guys can't tell already, right here I'm just getting a light warm up in. And before you attempt this test, I encourage you to do the same. If you come out to a football field dehydrated, not properly stretched or warmed up, you're not going to pass and you're probably going to have to go to the hospital. Now on the day I'm recording, this is 90 plus degrees, I have on sweatpants, I have on a hoodie no headphones i wanted to make this as tough on myself as possible since i knew for a fact i wouldn't go out and run the whole thing this is just a video to showcase what it was but i didn't want to make it easy on myself so now that you guys are kind of up to speed on what this video is i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what this test is all about you ready let's do it hold on hold on hold on scratch that first of all Look at one of my favorite stretches and tell me if you can do this. Only real ones can do this. That's for one. Second of all, look at my bunnies. Look at them. I still got it. Look at that. You see that? I'm over 300 pounds and I still got the bunny. I'm high in the sky like LeBron. Y'all know I'm an Eagles fan and I'm flying like a bird. Hey, listen. Anybody screenshot this? and make it a meme and tweet it to me tag me in it i'm reposting all the funniest ones give me a meme give me something boy i can fly like a bird all right y'all in all seriousness i gotta finish my warm-up no more joking no more funny business it's time to get this work in now before i can go ahead and start running the test i gotta show you guys the rules so without further ado here they are to begin this test you have to run a pt now a PT is the time lap around the field. You have four of these. Once you run these four, you get a minute to two minute break. After your break, you have to run 12 110s. Now a 110 is where you start in the back of the end zone and run all the way through the opposing goal line. Once you complete your 110s, you have another minute to two minute break and then you have 12 six second runs. Now the six second runs, you are running up to 45 yards depending on your position. If you are a bigger guy, an O-line or D-lineman, you have to run 35. If you're in the middle, you're running 40 and if you're a skilled guy, you're running 45. Now, below all the different runs i have all your times based on your position we're breaking it down by skill big skill and power power are your o-line and d-line big skill are your tight ends linebackers guys in the middle and your skill are all the fast guys so that way when you run this test make sure you pick the right time so you can go ahead and test yourself accurately now that i've broken down the test let's see it live and in action all right guys here we go man it's time for the moment you've been waiting for we're about to start the test now you start this test running a PT you do your PTs first now I'm an offensive lineman so my goal will be to finish this PT in 70 seconds or less now 
Now as you can see, I'm off to a pretty good start. I recommend when you run these, you start fast so you can coast the rest of the way. That's how I would advise you to run all of your runs in any condition and test any conditioning. Start fast so you can coast to the finish. So as you can see, I'm already over halfway done and we're only 30 seconds in. Now we're approaching the 45 second mark and I'm approaching the home stretch. Now remember, the fastest guys are supposed to run it in 60 seconds or less. And it's looking like that's what I'm going to do. Come on Lamar, finish through the line. Now we just finished our PT in about 55 seconds. Now here's some advice for you guys at home. Make sure you're running with the intent to make your time. Don't go out trying to be the fastest. Don't try to go all out or you will burn out. And if you burn out, you're gonna fail. Next we have our 110. And you know my motto, just get off to a fast start so you can coast through the finish. And that's exactly what I did right here. When we're about seven, eight seconds in, I'm already halfway done. I'm striding it out with a clean, easy finish. Now I finished at about 16, 17 seconds, which still puts me at a skill guy time. So I'm running a lot faster than your average lineman. And any lineman out there, I recommend you don't try to keep up with me because you will not make it. So now we're done with the 110s and we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with our six second run. Now, luckily for you, if you've made it this far, odds are you're going to pass the test. It's rare occasions I've seen somebody get to the six second runs and fail. Now, I told you guys, in between sets, you get a one to two minute break. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of simulate what a real break would be like if you were running this test. Now, in between the sets of our conditioning, I would say you get about a two minute break in between. Right now, I'm feeling like how I did when I was in school. My body's tired right now, but it's because I'm not used to running this like I used to. Like I said before, between sets, they give about a minute and a half, two minute break. And then from that point, you're going into the next set. Now, while you're actually out there running it, the break flies by. You really don't even feel like you have it. If y'all wanna know how I'm feeling right now, I just feel the tightness in my legs. You know, I know I'm hydrated, but when you do something to your body that hasn't done in a long time, obviously from time to time, it doesn't react the right way. And just a tip, yeah, they won't care if you sit down during your break, but I recommend you don't do it because all it's gonna do is lock your legs up. You know what I mean? Like I said, I feel mine locking up right now. So don't do what I'm doing. Just putting y'all on with game and how it's gonna work. Now to conclude this test, we have to do our six second run. Now it's either 45, 40, or 35 yards. And since I'm alignment, I'm running 35 yards. Now I messed up because I started in the back of the end zone for some reason and I was supposed to start at the goal line. So in reality I finished in about 4 to 5 seconds which is pretty normal. Now after those 12 you'll be done with the test. Now let's go ahead and check in and see how I'm feeling. <laughs> That's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Did a little walkthrough of my college football conditioning test. So I had to run it today, right now, say goodbye. I'd be dead. Now, I would love to see anybody go try it. I'm call it hashtag the prodigy challenge. For all you up and coming athletes, that's the hardest workout I've ever had to do in my life. And if you can do that, no matter what college you go to, the conditioning test should be cake. I encourage you guys to go ahead and try it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Leave me new video ideas down below. We're on the road to 100K, man. But keep grinding, y'all. I love y'all. God bless. And I'm out. See, man, this is why I retired. This running stuff is not for me. You know? Lead that to Usain Bolt. You know what I'm saying? Lead that to somebody, not me. To each his own, but I'm about to go take myself home. <laughs>